I am exploding with excitement for Tears of the Kingdom, but that's not because I want to play it. It's actually so we can do this. Let's make a groundbreaking mechanic better than a billion dollar company, shall we? Ascend is the ability to call my attention the most. Let's quick recap on how Ascend works. But, just like Link waking up after 100 years of counting sheep, I also have no goddamn clue what I'm doing. Current Link. This is great. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing. If we add a little hangover wall thingy-majiggy thingy, we are incapable of getting around it to reach the absolute goat Cassathy. I love him. Why is he not in any of the trailers? Please, are you okay? Don't be dead. <laughs> so here's a question to ask ourselves. How do we get from here? To here. Our first clue for solving any problem like this is to break it into smaller pieces. The first being, we're on the ground. How do we tell if there's a ceiling above us and what we can ascend through? Going to Tears of the Kingdom shows us that Nintendo is solving this problem as well. The rune symbol is red when it cannot be used, but goes green when it can. We need somewhere to replicate this. In my favourite Breath of the Wild remake, also known as Real Life, we can see if there is a ceiling above us by looking up and looking for the sweet sweet light in front of our eyes. Also a ray going from our eye source out until it hits its target. Luckily for us, Ray casts are an amazing way to replicate this in code, starting at the top of the player and shot upwards, turning green if they hear something and red if they don't. What's next? Well, we see Link pop out of the ground directly above where he enters from below it, but there's a huge issue here. So, okay, right, here's the issue, and it sucks. We have our player here, shoots the little ray upwards until it hits the bottom of this wall. We also need the top of the wall so we can take the player here, so it's like this, and then we need to move the bottom of the player up here and to be at the bottom. But we can't shoot a ray from, from this point upwards to, to here. So there's no way of getting the top of this platform. Let's try and figure out how to shoot a ray through a solid, which is ridiculous. Can't see through solid. It's kind of the idea of why you can't shoot through a solid. It's in real life, you know, I can't see through my hand. It'd be the equivalent of me like looking at my hand, trying to see through my hand to the other side of my hand which is the exact same problem we're facing with this and that's why it doesn't work but we're gonna make it work anyway somehow but let's just make it think this is the air and then we can just hit the top and boosh, we'll go and we're good i need something i can hold that would we found it look he's here he's safe he's safe okay Oh, yeah, I actually need this for something. So, what is a solid and why can't we, you know, shoot the ray through it? Well, it's because it's opaque, you know? I mean, bleh, can you see my face? I No, I can't see the camera, you can't see my face. No, it's not gonna work. So we need to trick the game into thinking that everything else, the air, is solid. So we can shoot a ray through the console, which is actually now air, where my hand is, is now solid. Like this whole thing, because the whole surrounding is solid. If I shot a little tiny ray up from inside the switch, it would hit the air, which is solid. From inside the solid, which is actually air, and it would get the point. Right? I think that makes sense. And, luckily enough, for another project I was just working on, Angry Birds, a few weeks ago, I did exactly this for some reason. I found some code online, or I just shamefully copied, and I will credit, amazingly, thank you very much. We can apply that code to our ceiling switch wall thing, and go boop, but get the wall, but it's all gonna be good. Teleporting to the top of this instantly, though, is no fun. Link gets an awesome swimming animation thingy in Tears of the Kingdom. I'm gonna be able to swim, but I can do tween and dive headfirst into a pool of terrible segues. do tween is an amazing tweening library, as in between, as it allows us to animate moving between two points. In our case, the ground to the bottom of the ceiling. Easy, done. Rotations and scaling to pop it in and out the other side. Boom, easy, done. Coding is great. We just saw this new feature. Brain shot how to solve it together and executed it all in a single day. How awesome is that? I love being able to remake things from the games that inspire me, and I just popped open a new channel to help you do just that as well. Let's learn programming the fun way, by remaking random games and mechanics step by step. We're going to get the whole thing set up, we're going to be teaching everyone amazing stuff, and you're going to learn how to be an amazing programmer by accident. This little trick is the only reason I know any of my programming ability. You just pick things up without even trying because you're so passionate about the game you're trying to recreate. If you enjoyed this video, I know you're going to love learning it the fun way here as well. See you all in five months when I emerge from my Tears of the Kingdom of Juice coma. See you.